var alveg eins og þið En myrkrið gleiftu mig alla Lét mig falla í nýstingskamp tófið og fraus En nú er ég laus we're here with the avant-garde trio Kyla Mikla after a smashing set at Dillon. So first of all, what's the story behind Kyla Mikla? Well, um, I write poetry mm -hmm. and um, I decided to make it like a combination of five poems and put in this poetry slam of Reykjavík 2013 mm -hmm. in February. And they joined me and I liked them. And we were friends before, so... Have you guys pay, thought at all about whether you want to continue playing in Iceland or if you want to take, go abroad? We want to go abroad, but like we're saving up money for it right now. Like okay. sometimes, very, very few times, we get a little money for gigs, like maybe five thousand or ten thousand. We're like, yes, mm -hmm. let's put it in the bank, mm -hmm. <laughs> try to save, and let's go to America. So you got like a piggy no. bank then? <laughs> no. And you're performing with quite a few other cool punk bands. Do you have any favorites that are going? Right now. Yeah. In Iceland. Yeah. Uh, Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, we love Skelkur Brinker. Oh, we love Skelkur Brinker. That's a great fan. Grislapalisa. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I yeah. think Grislapalisa are awesome. I like Mac. Yeah. Who Mark. doesn't? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you guys get treated differently because you're because you're all girls? No. No man. I don't think so. Not so at maybe all. maybe we get a little more attention because of that, but it's no. not it's not about that we are all girls. Mm -hmm. No. But it can be a pro. You don't ever feel it gets in the way? No. It actually annoys me when people say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I don't know man, I don't know. I think we're we're just doing what we do. I think there should be more girls band. Playing, like playing this kind of music like we want to get like attention for what we do and like our poetry and our music not mm -hmm. like oh my god there's three girls and they're playing instruments <laughs> and it's rock what is that oh my god we have to see this this is weird i was like oh my god shut the fuck up i i played the drums for the first time mm -hmm. week before we played our first gig and mm -hmm. she was like Am I supposed to be a singer? What? <laughs> and yeah. she was like, Yeah, I can totally play the bass, man. <laughs> <laughs> like um, she had she never touched the drums, and I would no. never. She had never the sung microphone. before, and like I never learned to play bass. I just bought the bass and was like, I want to play bass. Bass, <laughs> bass is awesome. And I bought the bass and I played the bass and it was nice. It was like a total coincidence that yeah, we, everything was a coincidence. We went into these roles like. Though. It's just because the poetry slam. Mm -hmm. I we, we wrote this poem, and yeah, of course, of course, I wanted to perform my poem, but mm -hmm. she is a lot better. <laughs> She's really I I I like her. Well, I like you. <laughs> and if you guys were stranded on a desert island <laughs> and you had one album with you. What album would it be? Oh. <laughs> this is a hard uh, question though. She would take Massive Attack. Oh, either. I have two albums. Okay. okay. Can I choose, please? <laughs> Maybe half and half. Okay, half and half. Okay, the first part <laughs> of uh, this generation with um, The Cure. Mm -hmm. And then the second half of Messanin with Massive Attack. Okay. And if you guys got to tour with any band in the world, who would you want to tour with? Sex Pistols! <laughs> All over Sex Pistols. Sweet. Sid Wishes okay. is my boyfriend. <laughs> We've been in a real relationship for a long time. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thanks very much for the chat. And Thank best you. of luck. Thank you.